What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back everyone, this is Lee, and yes, today's the day we'll be taking a look at a half cage by Falcam. So, with all that said, let's begin. So right before we get started, I just want to point out that Falcam, they did send this product to me for evaluation. However, all opinions are my opinions, and also, I did pick this product from their catalog just because this is such a unique product on the market. I have never seen anything like this before. So, with all that out the way, let's take a look at the half cage by Falcam. So people, I present you the Falcam half cage. This is pretty cool. And you might be wondering, where is the cage at? It doesn't look like a cage. This is a foldable cage. Let me show you guys. It's really, really stiff. So these anchor points, they can hold up to 4.5 kilograms. So that's about 10 pounds of weight. And there you go. There is your half cage. That is pretty awesome. And also, unlike other traditional cages on the market, those cages, you can't easily store it away and put in your pocket. This, you can. So that's number one pro about this cage. Number two pro about this cage is you can actually attach a variety of mirrorless cameras to the cage. This cage does not fit one particular camera model. It fits abundance of camera models. I'll leave a list right there. Now let me put on the cage for you guys. So when you buy the cage, it comes with the plate. Let me unhook the plate. And there you go. Let me screw it on for you guys. Now the way this works is very simple. Make sure that the Falcam logo is facing forward and just apply by holding this button here. So we'll hold this button right here and apply the camera and let go. All right, now I have the half cage applied to my Nikon ZF. Let me bring out the top handle. This is pretty nice, by the way. I love these capsules. Now the top handle comes in two parts. Let me show you how to apply the top handle to the cage. Number one, you just press this button to unlock the top handle. Number two, you just slide it on and let go, right? Number three, you get your top handle, handle goes bottom, slide on to the side as so. Make sure you hit the unlocking button, you slide it in as so, let go, and that is it. That is it. Very modular right there. Now, let me bring out a monitor adapter. Here we go. Here is the monitor adapter. It is pretty fancy. Look at this. This is pretty cool. So you have a little dial right here so you can make it smoother by dialing to the left. Now, once you pick your favorite position, you could tighten it by dialing to the right. And that is pretty cool. Now, let me apply this onto the cage. Now the cage, you need to apply a little adapter here, which comes with the monitor adapter right over here. So, one moment, let me apply this in front of the cage. Once this piece is applied, you can slide in your monitor adapter right over here. And there we go, that is pretty nice. Now here's the Velshox DC550. I already applied the plate at the bottom of the monitor. And so with this apply, you can slide it through the monitor adapter right over here. So let me show you guys right quick. First things first, let me pop open. Oh yes. And let me slide it in. Remember to press this button right here. Slide it right in. And there you go. Look at that. I'm just making sure everything is working, you know. Pretty neat, actually. Now, let me show you guys something. All right. So here is a little Frankenstein rig that I put together with a bunch of random parts that I found online. Let me tighten this up. And there we go, look at that. This could be a professional rig if you want it to be. Also, one moment, let me remove the monitor. Now let's say if you don't want the top handle, you want to actually hold it to the side. They do have a side handle. So you could actually 
have it to your left or to your right if you want. So, one moment, let me apply this on. So first things first, plug it in. It goes this way. I'll be applying this piece, this adapter, where the button is facing forward to the rig. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna tighten this up. So once everything is put together, all you have to do is slide it underneath. Remember to always hit the silver button to open it. Wow, that's, this is sturdy. Now, what else can you do with this half cage? Let me show you. First things first, I'm going to loosen up the pivot right there. I'm going to expand it. And you could detach like this, slide it out. Boop. There we go. So if you need more stability when you're like filming out there, you can place this to your shoulders, turn on the camera and you can start filming. So this is pretty nice for those running gun type of situations. Also, flip it backwards. Wow, this is pretty interesting right here. You can also reverse this. Make sure to always tighten the pivots before you start using it. This can also be a selfie camera. Pretty crazy. I need to make sure it works, right? It says 4.5 kgs and I believe them because this has not budged one bit. Awesome. Lower this out. I actually flip your camera out. And now it's like you could do like low shots with this particular formation right here. And that is pretty cool. And once you're done using the half cage, you can slide it back to your camera. You can leave it as a platform for your camera so your camera doesn't touch the table or the ground or the concrete. Or you could just take it away and just put it in your pocket or in your backpack or something. Um, the plate is still underneath the camera. Also, I want to point out that you see this right here. Let's say if you want this to be locked in, you just slide it in as so. And once this is slide in, this button right here, it cannot be detached. Just make sure you know that. This, this cannot be detached. Once you lock it in, you could detach it by unlocking it as so. And there we go. Pretty cool. I like the system. Now, okay, this is bonus. This is bonus. Once you integrate into the Falcam system, all their accessories work together. So here's another accessory that will work along with this plate that comes with the half cage. Let me show you guys. Now, the way this works is very simple. As you can see, you get your button right here. This is to unlock the plate right here, as you can see. There we go. Works just like that. Now you could, again, you could push it down to lock it so it would never be able to be easily popped open by accident, right? That is a pretty cool feature right there. Now let me get a bag and try this out in front of you guys. I never thought I would ever do this on my channel. Now let me show you guys how to apply it to your backpack, right? As you can see that I have on here. Um, one moment, here we go. Number one. You open this up. Number two, you take this out, as you can see, and then you wrap the strap. Let me show you guys, I'm wrapping the strap. Actually, this might be better if I show you guys from the top view. One moment. Here is the top view of my bag. So if I want to apply this, I'll have to Show you guys right quick, open this up, 
Make sure this goes around your backpack. You just wrap this around and then close it up. I put on my backpack. And there you have it. Look at that. Now this is a little crazy. We went from the half cage to the backpack clip. And let me just put it this way. Their whole entire ecosystem all works together. So once you buy, let's say, the handle, it will work for their other cages in their catalog. Also, the plate right here. This particular plate will fit on all of their products. So just know that all their products all work together in its own ecosystem. So with all that said, thank you guys for checking me back. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely click like and subscribe. And I guess I'll see you guys next one. All right. Take it easy. Peace.